Yes. Yes. Are you good? I'm good. I'm gonna record a video right quick. Okay, hey. Hey everybody, this is Tanisha. I am doing 21 questions, trying to get you guys familiar with me and understand who I am. Or whatever um, a lot of people follow me on tiktok but if you do not know me from tiktok let me introduce myself my name is tanisha marquise i am a content creator um influencer and vlogger um i am 33 years old and i am a stay-at-home mom and wife um i have four children dallas she's nine years old kendall she's eight channing four and then i have izzy who is about to turn four months in a couple days. Well, tomorrow, tomorrow he'll be um four months on the tenth. But yeah, so I want you guys to get familiar with who I am and what I stand for, who I make content for. Um, I'm sorry if I look real greased up. I did my skin routine before. I got one. And I use Aquaphor and it's like really oily and it does great on my skin. But I want to start off with doing my affirmations so that we can get warmed up and we can um kind of feel how the energy is and what the vibe is. So let's start with the affirmations. And I'm going to add a few on at the end because I'm uh, manifesting something new. And I'll talk a little bit about it in this video. All right. So I am worthy. I am consistent. I am confident. I am rich in mind, body, and soul. My feelings are valid. My husband and my kids are wealthy. I am wealthy. I am a force to be reckoned with. I am a successful content creator, influencer, and vlogger. I am a social media I am a <laughs> I am a social media content specialist. I am free. I am successful. I am protected. I am feminine. I am a provider. I chose happiness. I know how to invest my money. I am financially literate and stable. I have a great relationship with my kids. I am raising a family with my husband. I am genuinely happy. My kids and my husband are genuinely happy. I am a great communicator. I am an intentional person. I am a great listener. Fear does not live here. Fear is not welcome here. My mind is clear. My spirit is happy. I am focused. I am human. I am a good speaker. I am honest with my husband. I am a 5 a.m. girly. I am that girl. There is a huge calling over my life. I avoid drama. I am a sex symbol. I am a bad bitch. My life is about to change and I am ready. I say and so it is done. We're going to put that out in the atmosphere because, baby, I need all the wins. I need all the wins. I have, <laughs> I do the work, but, baby, I am ready to reap what I have sowed. Okay, and I also want to talk about what I am manifesting. Um, I am manifesting a whole new life with a new address, an all-new start. All new shit, new friends, new car, new confidence, whole lot of gang shit, success, financial stability, spiritual guidance, continued growth in my relationships and unconditional love in my marriage. <sighs> Maybe, and happy children. Happy children who are focused, who understand that their parents love them, who understand that their parents are doing the motherfucking work for them. <sighs> I also want to manifest... Um, walking into my purpose, I want to um, start training myself and getting trained um, as a sex sexual. Um, I'm sorry, as, I don't know how I want to put that out there. Um, a sex coach, basically, um, self love, body, body positivity, and all of those things wrapped up in one, but through sensual work. If you get what I'm saying. Because I'm a sexual bitch. Because I'm a sexual bitch. Because I'm a sexual bitch. But anyways. 
that's what I'm manifesting. That's what I'm manifesting. And as the mommy's on a mission, mama's on a mission, um, via TikTok, follow, um, Destiny is Natural Mama Glow. I'll put it up on the screen. Make sure you follow those. Well, follow that account so that you guys can join her live on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. It is a beautiful, sacred, safe space for women of all color. And that is beautiful. When a, women of all color to come together and to be seen, be heard. They are coming together to be loved on, to be poured into, to get checked, to be held accountable, um, to have a friend, to have a shoulder to cry on. It is a beautiful, 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 beautiful creation. It was. It's a beautiful space that Destiny started. Um, I appreciate her so much for that. And I, pre I appreciate the mommy community for always having my back and pouring into me when I needed it and, um, being there for me because I wouldn't be here right now making this video because I did not have, I could not find my voice for nothing in the world. And those ladies encouraged me and they, they boosted my head up and I needed it or whatever. And so... I am I'm I'm forever grateful. Okay, so I'm gonna start with um the first question. We'll start off easy. What is the candy that you hated as a kid but as an adult you love? Um I like stuff with peanuts in it now. When I was a kid, I hated anything with any kind of nuts in it. I still have not ventured over into the walnuts and the almonds and the cashews and all of that stuff, but I'll eat a peanut now. I'll eat a peanut or whatever. So I love Snickers now. Um, I don't know if Take Fives have it in there, but I love Take Fives. I'm a chocolate girly now. I love chocolate. My favorite chocolate is the Dove um, milk chocolates. And I also love the Molten, um, the molten um, chocolate one. It's really, really good. But yeah. Okay, so what are you currently manifesting? Um, pretty much just went over that in the last uh, few minutes of when I started. But I am manifesting a whole new life. I am I am manifesting a whole new journey, a whole new me. Um, I am manifesting walking into my purpose and standing firm in my purpose. I am also manifesting um, financial security. Um, I am manifesting um, investments. I am manifesting um, traveling with my family, traveling with my friends, traveling by myself, um, traveling with my children. I am manifesting all of those things. I am manifesting being um, a sex coach. I am manifesting being a po body positivity coach. I am manifesting being a self-care coach. Um, I am manifesting a happy marriage. I am manifesting a happy family happy children who love each other and are there for each other and after i manifest um everything or what i i manifest what is mine i like to think that i already did it um i already completed it i already have it and it's a good feeling um it's that easy and it's yours all right so what is one thing that you are proud of that you have accomplished in the last year? Um, being consistent with something. Um, I would consider my account on TikTok. I have been pretty pretty consistent on there, and so I am proud of myself for that because I usually will fall off the face of the earth by now and take a break because I get insecure or I feel like I'm not worthy of taking the next step in my life. Um, I get scared. And so I am, I'm thankful that I am proud of myself because I have been consistent with myself and I am not afraid of walking into my purpose. I'm not afraid of the next step in my life. So yes, congratulations to me. Um, what is your love language? So, you know, there's seven. 
The first one is words of affirmation. Two, quality time. Three, acts of service. Four, gifts. Five, appreciation. Six, emotional. And seven, financial. Cha-ching, baby. But um, let me see. I think my... um. Okay, so I think that my love language is quality time. <laughs> I would throw a fit and I used to not want to admit it, but when my husband was not giving me the time that I wanted and he was working too much, coming home, playing the game, and then by the time he come to bed, I am knocked out. I don't even remember him getting in the bed. The next day he sleeps all day and then I'm up and I'm left. Like it's It was just, I don't know. I don't, if I miss my man, I start acting crazy. So you gotta you gotta give me a certain amount of time for me to act like I got some sense. Okay, what is your favorite color? Um, my favorite color is I have two, um, green and um brown. And I want to add yellow because yellow is starting to um, make its way into my life. Um, yellow signifies happiness for me, and I see a lot of happiness. Um, before green and brown were my favorite colors because I just wanted to feel grounded. I wanted to have financial stability, but I feel like all of those things are coming. So also happiness, happiness is coming, but I'm already happy or whatever. All of those things, I already have those things. Um, the next question is, are you happy? Yes, I'm genuinely happy. I'm in a place where I can take the good with the bad. And I can understand that everything that goes on in my life, it happens, happens for a reason. And everything that is for me will not miss me. I am going to get everything that I that was called for me to have or whatever. As long as I believe that I am worthy, it's going to happen. And that's how I like to think. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm sorry, boo-boo. What era of your life are you in? Okay, I think I am in my baddie era. I think I am in my era of life where I am loving myself unconditionally. I am loving myself on a physical sense. When I look in the mirror, I am happy with who I look at. Um, when I show up, I am happy with the person who I am showing up as. Um, I am in an era of my life where I exude confidence. I am in a place where... My children feel safe with me. I am in a space where my husband is loving me correctly and we're communicating we're communicating on a higher level and we're taking the time to understand each other and understand that we're so different, but at the same time we can figure it out and we can understand we can try to we can come to a common ground. So I'm in that era of my life. Like I'm in a good I'm in a good place. Okay. Do you want kids? Well, I have four. Um, do you want any more kids? I do want one more, but um, if it's meant to be, it'll be. If it is not meant to be, it just won't be. And I'm happy with the four I have. I love my babies so much. I love them, I love them, I love them. But I ask that if it is for me, Please send some financial help because baby, I need it. I can't, I can't have another baby without no finances coming in. I'm trying to get monetized, so I need y'all. If you're still watching, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be begging y'all to watch. Please watch my video. Please comment, like, share, subscribe. Please, I'm gonna be begging. And um, honestly, I'm gonna do one more question and then I'm gonna close this thing on out because I feel like I've been talking for a while. And plus, I got my booby to sleep. And I want him to stay asleep because he has not he has not been sleeping. I want to start off by leaving you with a song to go listen to. Um, this is one of my favorite songs at the very moment because it just makes me feel free. It makes me feel happy. It makes me feel like I am invincible. It makes me feel like I am at a level of my life where I am a grown ass woman. So, with all due respect, maybe. Um, I want y'all to check out Mahalia's um, Grateful, Grateful by Mahalia. 
that is a beautiful song i love it and it's a sexy song it makes me feel good and it makes me feel grown it makes me feel like i am holding myself accountable it makes me feel like i am doing what needs to be done it makes me feel like i am taking care of shit. and baby it's a good ass feeling but last question last question i want to make i want it to be a good question so let's see Okay, I got one. I got one. Okay. So, what is something that you need to forgive, let go of, or relieve? What kind of, what, is there a burden that you need to relieve? I don't know what I meant by that, but we'll check that later. But what is something that you need to forgive? Or who is someone that you need to forgive? I'm sorry. Who is someone that you need to forgive? I read that all wrong. Um, I would say my dad, I would need to, um, I need to forgive my dad and not because he deserves it, but because I deserve it. I deserve to be happy. I deserve to understand that he's just not in a place where he's able to love me. Um, he's not in a place where he's probably even able to love himself unconditionally and understand that. Um, he deserves to heal. He deserves to heal from whatever trauma he's um, holding on to or whatever so that he can love his, the people who he created, his kids, his children, the person he does, who he decides to love so he can love them correctly so he can love them more freely. Um, I hate this. I hate that he's not around to see his grandchildren grow, to see me grow or whatever. He missed out on a lot of, um, me and my sibling growing up or whatever. And I just wanted him to be more, since we were grown, I just felt like anything can be fixed or whatever. So it's not that hard to start over. It's not that hard to fix things or whatever. It's just gotten to a place where I feel like it's, it's gotten out of hand. And in order to fix it, there will need to be therapy and there will need to be a lot of apologizing and Putting up, putting in the work. All right. So I just read from my questionnaire a little bit deeper. Um, I don't know what to call it right now, but it's a book that I'm working on. It's a workbook that I'm working on to get a little deeper with yourself, to get a little bit more of an understanding with yourself, to get to know yourself better. Um, ooh. But um, thank you for listening. Thank you so much for taking the time out to just hear me go on a, to, to vent basically because it felt like venting. It felt good or whatever. And I am so proud of myself because I am learning more and more um, how to be comfortable in front of the camera and how to conduct myself um, as I'm recording. So... I'm really thankful for those things or whatever. And I want to close the um, episode out by praying over my life. Praying over my life. But, um, no, you know what? I want to show gratitude. Um, I want to thank God for keeping me and my family. I want to thank God for holding me accountable. I want to thank God for sending um, a group of women to love on me. God, I thank you for protecting my family. God, I thank you for protecting my husband, um, looking over my children, protecting them. God, I thank you for a clear mind. I thank you for the ability to be free. God, I thank you for everything that you have, you are con concocting up for me. The things that you are cooking up for me, I am appreciative. I am thankful. I am ready. Um, God, I appreciate you and I thank you and God bless everybody out there who is listening. And I just want to say, make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I will be dropping an episode every Sunday. Um, I haven't really came up with the time that I'll be dropping it. But for, I know for sure that every Sunday I'll be dropping an episode on this platform. And as we get a little bit further into this journey and we're able to add more episodes in a week, 
I'll definitely let you guys know, but I will definitely not be doing it until I am ready. <laughs> but again, thank you for listening. Thank you, 21 Questions with Tanisha Marquise. And we ain't even get to 21 Questions, so you know it's got to be a part two. Y'all take care.